What's going on, everybody? That boy Mo 629 coming to y'all with the very first episode of Get Fit Educated. This episode is going to be about Ace of Fame Potassium. And don't forget to click subscribe to my channel. Sub my channel. Anyway, we're going to talk about Ace of Fame Potassium right here, man. If you watch my Walmart protein video with the most vast majority of y'all have that like the most views I got on my YouTube channel I talk about Ace of Fame Potassium. I couldn't even pronounce it back then. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like my word Ace of Fame Potassium. I'm about to man had that trending. Look it up hashtag Ace of Fame Potassium. But anyway I'm about to talk about Ace of Fame Potassium and what it is and if it is safe on Gifted Educated. This episode right here is dedicated just for that we're going to talk about ACE, right, so, wait, wait, not add the L, so, fame, potassium, right? We're gonna talk about Ace of Fame Potassium right here, dog, and exactly what it is. Ace of Fame Potassium is included in the vast majority of your protein powders. Like that Walmart protein, just like the own nutrition that somebody else had mentioned. So what exactly is Ace of Fame Potassium? It, it has many different names like HK, right? And also got another name, Ace of Fame K. It has that also. This is a sweetener. It's a sweetener that I've added into the protein powders or the drinks or whatever, MZ drinks and all that stuff, mainly in processed food. So it's a sweetener and it's 200 times sweeter. I'm going to take that off. It's 200 times sweeter than table sugar, right? 200 times sweeter than table sugar, right? So if it's 200 times sweeter than table sugar, that means it should spike in insulin levels, right? Which means it's bad for diabetics and all that stuff. But according to studies, it's not. On, on rats, I guess they put like studies on rats and stuff like that, but human study, it is not. So there's been a whole lot of negative energy toward Ace of Fame Potassium, talking about it causing cancer and stuff like that. It may cause cancer, it may not cause cancer, that it is bad for you, and this, this, that, and fit. So a lot of studies that I've, I've done or whatever, a lot of reading that I've done on Ace of Fame Potassium, there have not been any direct correlation between HK and the C word, you know what I'm saying, which is cancer right here, you know what I'm saying, the bad C word, cancer, I'm going to put that in red too, you know what I'm saying, so it don't, it's right, you know what I'm saying, then I'm going to put that with the arrows and stuff like that with the cancer word right there, so Ace of Fame Potassium has been associated due to some studies in the 70s that they had like I guess some, some rat studies or whatever it was that they had like a couple cases that showed cancer but there had been no current, no current study, no current cases, no current lore of cancer being associated with Ace of Fame Potassium. So this is put in the supplements, right? The supplement, so this is supplementation, supplements. And add it to your supplements to add the sweet taste to it. There's a little bitter aftertaste they say that's in it. So they add another another ingredient, whatever. So it keeps your insulin levels low. So it's 200 times sweeter than table sugar, but they use a small amount for the sweetness of it, but it don't impact 
base this all. So you all understand. It do not. It do not. Spike. Insulin. Levels. Right? It don't spike insulin levels. It do not spike. I put that on there too, so for those of y'all that can't read, you know what I'm saying? So can't hear. But it do not spike insulin levels. It been plenty of testing done on Ace of Fame potassium and the sweetener don't spike insulin levels, which do not increase the risk of weight gain. So when you spike insulin levels, that means what? Weight gain. It's because of sugar. You know what I'm saying? Because of sugar. You got sugar. But this is 200 times sweeter than sugar. You know what I'm saying? So it's 200 times sweeter than sugar. So the ingredient, the verdict, acephane potassium, right? Now, if you're cautious, because the study had not been as thorough as some, some people wanted to be, had not been as thorough as some pundits wanted to be. So if you are on the side, that side of the fence with those people, then I will tell you to steer clear of supplements and foods and all the other stuff that has acephane potassium in it. Now, if you are a person that are just like, all right, well, it's not that much acephane potassium in this ingredient or in this product or not that much HK in this protein powder, then I'm just gonna take it. Because at the end of the day, the studies have not linked this to cancer, have not linked it to spiking Insulin levels, which triggers fat, fat gain and weight gain and all that stuff. So, and slow your metabolism. So, go ahead and take it. Take products that include acephane potassium. So, what products, right, are, have this product in it? So, let's look at this. You got plenty of products and plenty of protein powders out there that have acephane potassium in it. So, which ones? You got the protein shakes. You got energy drinks. It's prominent. It's prominent, you know. It's prominent in the industry to where you got plenty of products such as protein powders. Protein powder. Oops. That protein powder, processed foods, diet drinks, diet drinks. That says diet drinks right there. You probably couldn't really read that. I'm gonna zoom in. You know what I'm saying? Zoom into that right there. You know what I'm saying? And then even even baked goods, baked food, baked goods. You know what I'm saying? And I believe protein powders. I'm go over here. Protein bars. My fault. Protein bars. So protein bars right here, you know what I'm saying? That don't even look like an A. Let me round that. Oh, let me round that a little bit right there. Yeah, there you go. H1 word. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Let me put this. Boom. Holla. But anyway. Protein powders, processed food, diet drinks, baked goods, and protein bars all have acephane potassium in it. So it's all up to you. Be sure to read that ingredient label, man. If you do not want this, this product, this, this in there, if you don't want this stuff in your food, or if you don't care, 
don't pay attention to it. But if you don't want this stuff in your food, make sure you read the ingredient, supplemental facts, and nutritional facts, and the ingredient profile, and make sure that they either have acephatine, acephatine potassium, or don't have it. If you care and don't want to, then you need to look at your protein powder, definitely. Your processed food that you eat, or the healthy, whatever the healthy, healthy food, lean cuisine, and stuff like that. The diet drink, now the diet soda, you got, actually I found, what was it, muscle milk, I think muscle milk has that in it. And then there's a lean body shake that has that in it. And then the baked goods, like the pre-baked the pre stuff, protein bars, protein bars have it in it. I'll be on that on my Instagram story too, as far as looking at protein bars. And I actually help you guys identify exactly what this stuff, what stuff has this in it. So it's still clear, you know what I'm saying? Time to take the grunt work out for y'all. So at the end of the day, like I said, this is episode one of Get Fit Educated. We're talking about Isophane Potassium, otherwise known as HK or Isophane K. And there's another name for it too. I forgot what it was, but these are the three main names, man, right here to look out for. If you if you care about it, steer clear. If you don't care about it, eat it, drink it, whatever. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel, y'all, man. Don't forget, man, your boy trying to get his subs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And then follow me on Instagram, too. If you're, if you're still watching this video, be sure to follow me on Instagram at thatboymo629 on Instagram. I've got more information for y'all, more and more tools for y'all to learn. So, once again, like I said, don't forget to sub the channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time, start it. Own it. Finished.